favorite thing to do in the morning obviously get a cup of coffee this morning i purposely set my alarm early i wanted to the morning time is my absolute favorite time of the day i love when it's quiet in my house no one's awake you can have your cup of coffee you can do a devotional no one's like disrupting you or distracting you this morning light is so cozy and warm i know you guys can't see it and my laundry is out there but just these big windows i have in my bedroom bring so much warmth and morning light and it like it's my plants it's just so warm and cozy but anyways morning times are my absolute favorite time set my alarm early so i got to enjoy them today we're off to a great start and i actually rolled over thinking it was wednesday and today it's tuesday which is great because i work on wednesday and i don't work on tuesday so it was like a whole extra day of freedom and so that was a great surprise to my morning and now i get to decide what i want to do all day i actually have a really fun video in mind that i might just put in this one i was going through my closet last night and i was trying to organize and get rid of clothes but honestly like i have a lot of clothes i really love in my closet that i've never worn which made me feel and think this would be a really good video idea to try on all the clothes in my closet that still have the tags on them and there's more clothes that i've like haven't ever worn that don't have tags on them but i never actually made it out of the house in them but i think today i'm going to try on all the clothes that still have the tags and i think it'll be fun also i hope it inspires me to wear these clothes and i'm like wait this is actually so cute let me put together an outfit with this piece of clothing that i've never worn before so i can actually wear it yeah that's my thought now that my coffee is empty we can continue on and finish all the chores for today which is all of this laundry that i have to do so i'm about to fold all of this also if you're wondering why why i have two beds in my room this is a house that like i've lived in all of college and typically i'll have a roommate like one of my sisters not a random roommate or anything like that so usually my sister and i will share a room and then I, we have other roommates and they have their own rooms and stuff so she's not even here all the time that's why there's two beds in here but most of the time she's not even here or when she is here i'm not here so we kind of share a room but mostly there's just two different beds and whatever hair and makeup got ready for the day and I did decide that I'm gonna try on all these clothes for you guys these are all the clothes I was talking about earlier that still have the price tags on them so I'm gonna try them all on we're gonna decide if I should keep them or if I should give them away or if I should try to find outfits to actually wear with them so that way I can take the tags off of them so let's have some fun and go through these clothes together okay first little outfit that we have is this little top I've worn these jeans a million times they're from American Eagle. But this top is from Forever 21. It would be so fun if I was like in Mexico or something. It's strapless. It came with like the little skirt that was like a fit and flare skirt. I never ended up wearing the skirt and I also never thought I was gonna wear the skirt. So I got rid of that. But I do actually like this top. The problem with this is that it does fall down and I plan on like maybe putting like a strap or straps, like just even black straps would be really cute on this. And I should do that because it's so easy and then I'd wear it probably. But this is really cute just with some jeans and then I just throw on some cute little orange shoes for a pop. And then this jacket is from Forever 21 as well. This was $40. I've never worn it because it was a size medium and I really need a size small. But it's actually so freaking cool. Are you kidding? It's like cute bedazzled moments. Ah, I'm a sucker for denim jackets. The biggest sucker. Okay, this is so cute though. And I, I wanna wear this, even though it's oversized, it's still super cute, super cute. Okay, next little top is this one. It is just an off the shoulder denim little shirt. This is actually from Ross and I just looked at the price tag and I cannot believe I only paid $12 for this. It's from Ross, like I said, the brand is Thrill Jeans. I think that this is fun. I actually have shown this to a couple people though in my life and it's not their favorite. But I think it's fun. I think it's different. I think it's cute. I like it. I still really like it. And then at that same shopping trip, 
I got these shoes, which, honey, honey, these are just Timberland heels. This is not a good camera angle for this, but let me just take them off and show you. These are Timberland heels. I have like four sets of regular flat boots from Timberland, love them, but these, these give me Khloe Kardashian circa 2016 maybe. 2018, I don't know, a couple years ago for sure. But she, I felt like, used to rock these. And so anyways, I needed them, I love them, they're so cute, I will totally wear these. I actually never worn them. I got them also at Ross, I don't know if I said that, but I think I paid $80 for these, which is like a steal, and they are real Timberlands. I already knew I loved this one, and I seriously cannot believe that I haven't like worn this to the park at this point, because it is so cute, okay, okay. <laughs> This is cute. Okay, anyways, these are cute little romper. It's long-legged and it has these slits on the side so you can like move and groove and all of that. Cute little navy blue color and then it has striped on the side. So cute. I also learned that I'm not very flexible and couldn't zip it all the way up because my arms like physically couldn't, you know, contort in that way. But it fits like a glove. So cute. This is Gianni Beanie. And originally it was $179. I, if you can't tell by now, love a good bargain, love a good deal on clothes. I see that the tag says 62, 65. However, I'm pretty positive I got this at the Dallas clearance outlet Dillard's that they have down there. And I think usually it was like 30 to 50% off of that price. So I don't know why, I kind of remember paying like no more than $20 for this, but I could be wrong about that. This is so cute. I can't believe I haven't worn this. Like where can I go in this? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. We may have hit a roadblock in this one. Okay, so the jean jacket's Forever 21, but not with tags. Underneath, I just have this cute, I, I want to say cute because I've said it about everything else. I don't know how I feel about this one. So this is just a blue little top and skirt combo. They came together, it was a set, and it was $12. So I think I bought it probably for the price. This is like not something I would wear, just like tight on top, tight on bottom. I don't even know how to style this. I paired it with like some sneakers, and I thought maybe with this jean jacket, it was kind of like grungy meets girly meets casual streetwear. I don't know. I also brought reinforcements, so let's ditch that for a second. I don't know if this is cute. I don't know if this is weird. I feel like it needs a pop of color, but then whenever I add color, I feel like it looks childish. So I don't know. Necklace, maybe like a necklace and maybe like some heels for a brunch day. But then I also just feel like, does this look like, I don't know, a child. Okay. Okay. So anyways, I think I'm making it worse. Let's take that off. Um, and then you guys let me know, is this cute or should I like toss this or give this to one of my sisters or something? What do you think? Okay, we're gonna rapid fire through some tops. Okay, this shirt is from Ross. Now that I'm putting it on and like looking in the mirror. Mm. So I have learned that I'm buying things from Ross just because they're cheap and not because I'm gonna wear them, which I'm recognizing is a problem. Anyways, I think Part of this, I don't like that I can't wear anything underneath it. Like I looked through all my bras, I don't really have anything that goes underneath it that's somewhat covering because this is completely see-through. And so I tried to find something, you know, obviously to cover up my body. But I think that this could be really cute if you're really indie and you like to like play your guitar outside in a field or like in front of a Ferris wheel. I put it on with some flare leg jeans and I do think it could be cute. It's just like not really my style and my vibe but I only paid $12 for it, so let me know what you think. This one is definitely my style. This is so cute. I don't know if you guys just saw, uh, but the 2022 New Year's Eve thing, like going into 2022, Miley Cyrus basically wore this shirt, and if you don't know, I'm a big Miley Cyrus fan. So anyways, this is super cute, but I had it before that even happened. Um, this is from Ours, and I actually got this at Name Brand Clothing. If you don't know what that is, it's usually, well, it is a store that other places like send their damaged goods to. So whenever I bought this, it actually had this little clasp situation in the back was broken, but I'm just holding it together with a safety pin. It's like completely silver metal, so I don't think anyone would notice. And then you could always just do like a necklace hook on the back end. That way you can adjust it and stuff because it is all adjustable. 
but this shirt is super cute. I think this cowl neck is really flattering. It is freezing on. So cold, but so cute. And I just tucked in the side so it's like squared, which is okay. Um, I, I just tucked in the side so you kind of get like that V and I just think that this is really flattering and cute. And because it is at name brand clothing, it's usually really discounted. So I only paid $25 and I feel like this is really like trendy and cute for New Year's Eve or a birthday or a bachelorette party or something like that. I just think this is really fun. This one's actually a gift last Christmas. Um, so if you're one of my sisters that got me this, I'm so sorry I haven't worn it. It's so cute, like really so cute turtleneck. It has this little crisscross thing cropped. I think it's really darling. I should wear this. The only, only reason I do not is because the V up, literally it's like, these are high-waisted jeans with the V and it only showcases my belly button. Which my belly button's just like not my favorite part of my body. So it just feels like a lot of attention is right on the belly button. And I feel really weird about that. But this is so cute that I honestly maybe I'm thinking even like high-waisted black leggings with like tennis shoes and like a long coat or something could kind of make it that streetwear, kind of street dressy wear. I really like that vibe where it's like comfy, casual, but a little bit dressed up, but you're still like in leggings and tennis shoes, but then you have like a sweater or a pico or something on. Anyways, I think I might wear it like that because I'm just feeling like this is straight, got it to the belly. But I think it was like $28. It's all scribbled out, but I can kind of see like a 25, 28, something like that. Maybe it's somewhere around there. It's from Forever 21 though. So it's not too expensive and it is cute and I should wear it. I'm going to wear it. Okay, this dress is another one from Ross, $15. The brand is Dynamite. This dress is okay. I really do like the pattern. It's kind of like a cheetah print pattern. It's all okay, but the slit makes it pop. I love that. It has this cute little ruffle around it. And I think it's just like a chill, pretty simple dress. I think that this could be super cute with even like a Western belt black denim jacket and like cowboy boots or just boots in general and kind of make it a little bit more grungy in that way. Or I could obviously just put on some black heels, make it date night appropriate, whatever. I do think that this is really cute and I'll definitely wear this. A couple more regular things before we get into, I have like a couple really cool dressy dresses and stuff that I haven't put on in a long time and also have absolutely nowhere to wear them but I bought them because I liked them at the time. So we're gonna try on those in just a second, but these are the last two kind of regular pieces. This one is from Target, it's Wild Fable brand, and it was $17.50 on clearance. Another denim jean jacket. Wait, this is actually cute. Wait, I love this with the denim on denim, the multicolored denims. I got this for Christmas last year too, and I never wore it. Okay, but this is so cute and I love it. Like even with the grip, I, I would wear this outfit. Like I would totally wear this outfit. This is kind of giving me like, I don't know, um, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake moment, kind of like a country Western. I actually love this. Anyways, really cute. I'm going to wear that. Sorry about my bra. Not cute. And then this one is from TJ Maxx. I got it for $20. It's the brand 12th Love. And this one is like mm, staple staple in your closet. I just haven't worn it yet. Um, oh, <laughs> this gives me mom, grandma, sophisticated, elderly lady, but in a good way, comfy, cozy bathrobe, but make it fashion. This is what you wear around the house whenever you want to look a little cute, but you want to be warm. It's like a jacket. It's a robe. You could totally wear this with heels to church, wear it out, put a little bag with it. You can tie this, but that looks too much like a bathrobe, so we just leave that untied. Wow, this is really cute. I'm gonna, I'll definitely wear this. This is like something I would wear all the time. I have a gray one in there that I haven't worn either. For what reason? I don't know. I really don't know. I think sometimes I go through periods where I want to look like a sophisticated lady and then other times where I want to look like my age. So I think I buy these in those moments where I want to be sophisticated, but still cute. While we're getting into those dresses I was telling you about that I have absolutely nowhere to wear. I have no reason to buy these dresses. I just thought that they were really cute and that I was going to fix them. And honestly, I should totally just fix these and resell them because they are so cute. But anyways, this is the first one. I cannot find the brand at all anywhere on this dress, but I did get six. I paid $16 for it at name brand clothing. I think that this is actually 
still so cute. It is too big for me around the top. So like that other shirt I was talking about at the very beginning, I kind of wanted to put like even just some black spaghetti straps or even a halter strap or something like that to kind of help hold up the top. But you guys, this is actually really stinking cute. It is short, short, but really cute for a little cocktail dress or just if you were, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know where you're going to wear this because where I live, no one's going to wear this anywhere, but it is super cute to wear to like a party or something. Again, another little mini dress. This one is again from Name Brand Clothing, $16. I can't find a brand, so same situation. But up close, it is this royal blue velvet color. The straps are metal. They do need to be shortened. It's a little bit long, but then the back is completely backless. Pretty low back, at least. If I just shorten that metal, it would pull up the straps in the front and would like fit perfectly. Another little mini dress I have. No one to wear, but I do think that I could throw a coat on with this one. And this is a cute like winter dress because of the velvet color and all that stuff. So I think this one has potential, um, but I still have nowhere to wear it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Honestly, this is probably the most favorite thing I own and like my favorite thing in my closet and I've never worn it. I can't even believe it. Um, also from Name Brand Clothing, this is a guest dress. I paid $35. It's not zipped up, so it's a little loose because, again, like arm flexibility. I cannot zip a zipper behind my back. Like, I need help. But, anyways, it's a little bit loose on the top, but when it's zipped up, it's not at all. It is so form fitting and gorgeous. I cannot zip it. I just can't figure out how to get the pressure right. Anyways, um, so cute. Like, engagement. New Year's Eve. I'm going to, like, I don't even know. Times Square, like this is so cute and so snazzy, and I just think it fits so cute once it's zipped up correctly. I love this, and thirty-five dollars, so good. Okay, I don't think everyone's gonna love this one, but I do. This is again from Name Brand Clothing. The brand is NBD times Naven, I believe. Um, the tax is forty dollars. However, I just don't think I'm paying forty dollars for this, just because it is like. I mean, I'm Wonder Woman. Like, I am Supergirl, Power Rangers, ready to, like, fight some bad guys or something in it. But I do think that this is, like, a dinner party going to a rooftop bar. Like, so cute. I did. Okay, so without the safety pins, this thing is, like, super open and super low. So I just twisted it a little bit, gave me some safety pins here. I think that... Some um, of this could be shortened as well, kind of pull everything in. But anyways, so cute. I actually love this. And with a little bit of safety pins, I feel like I can wear it now. Tell me, would you guys ever wear this or is this way too out there for you? I think it's kind of cute. Okay, last but certainly not least is this dress. This is actually a really funny story attached to this dress. But I got it at Name Brand Clothing, $50. The brand is NBD. It has a little slit at the back so you can walk, even though I can hardly breathe, I can hardly walk, I can hardly sit down. Anything in this dress, it is so tight. It's an extra small, probably need a small, but whatever. Um, and then the back is like this. It has cute little sheer cutouts of like mesh. Really cute. I think it is still very flattering. However, I just like have to like suck in all the time. This is a funny story. I keep this dress for the memories and all of that. But there was a period in my life that I was determined to go on The Bachelor. I wanted to be on The Bachelor so bad, all of that, that I applied multiple times. Uh, and I believed in like manifesting it. I was pretty convinced that if I bought the dresses, if I believed I was gonna go on Bachelor, I filmed videos, I applied multiple times, all of this stuff. I was just at a place where I was like, I am not gonna find my husband here in small town Oklahoma. So I have got to do something crazy and wild. And I've tried dating around that. I've tried everything. So anyway, long story short, I bought this dress thinking, I'm going to wear this as a ceremony dress one day on The Bachelor. And I'm going to manifest it so hard that I'm going to buy this and buy a couple of those other things that I showed you that I've obviously never worn specifically to go on The Bachelor. And now I look back and I think it's like a really funny it's a really funny moment in my life and I'm okay that I didn't go on The Bachelor, but this was a dress for that. And with that being said, I have absolutely nowhere, nowhere to wear this dress in my real life. So unless I'm a bachelor, I don't know. This just is going to sit in my closet, I guess.
or in case I go to prom part two, like prom, prom anyone, prom? Anyways, funny story. Okay, you guys, I had so much fun trying on all those clothes and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and end out this vlog because the rest of the day is going to be normal stuff, go to the gym, and then I'm gonna have to sit down and relearn how to edit everything because it has been a hot minute since I've posted it on YouTube. But I had so much fun. I really hope that you guys enjoy this vlog and had some fun trying on my clothes. Leave me in comments if you liked some of those things that I wasn't sure about or if there's any pieces that you're like, girl, bye. Get rid of that. Let me know down below and thank you so much for watching.